Hi, it's Chrissy here with a quick video that shows you how to install fonts on a Windows computer. I know like me lots of you buy some of the big packs of PowerPoint video templates that come out on a regular basis or you'll get PowerPoint templates from me as a bonus of something. But because there are so many fonts available these days and everyone is trying to make their templates unique by using different fonts, well pound to a penny there'll be a font that you won't already have installed on your computer. If this is the case, when you open up the templates, they'll probably look a bit wacky, or at least not how you expect them to look, because the missing fonts will be substituted with something different, probably something plainer. The way to prevent that happening is to make sure you have all the right fonts installed before you open the template. So I'll cover how to check if you have the fonts you need, and then I'll cover how to install them. Click on the Windows Start icon at the bottom left of your screen. Then click on the Settings icon. In the search box, type Fonts, then click on View Installed Fonts. You can view the fonts you have in different ways, in icon format, for example, or in list format, which makes it a bit easier to see what's there. Or you can use the search box to find the particular font or fonts you're checking for. If you don't have the font you need already installed, you'll need to go to wherever you have the font downloaded on your computer, because there's no option to install fonts directly from within the font panel itself. So, browse on your computer to the font file you want to install, and simply double click on it. A new window will open, and then you need to click Install. Once it's finished, close the window. If you have a single font to install, that's the quickest and easiest way, but sometimes fonts come with different variations, so you'll get the regular, but you might also get the bold, the italic, the thin, etc. If you want to install all the variations, then it might be quicker for you to highlight the font set, then click copy, and then go back to the font panel and click paste. Wait for your computer to do its stuff and then close the window. Once you've got all the fonts installed, you can safely open the PowerPoint presentation and start working on it, looking exactly the way it should. 